Ever pondered over the intricate marvel that is a sewing machine? Embroidered within its compact form lies a world of complexity and genius. Sewing machines are like well-conducted orchestras, where each part, no matter how small, plays a vital role in creating beautiful stitches. Picture this, the needle dancing up and down, the bobbin spinning ceaselessly, the feed dog gripping the fabric, and the tension discs controlling the thread's flow. All these parts working harmoniously together, transforming a simple thread into intricate patterns and sturdy seams. Understanding the mechanism of the sewing machine, the roles of its various parts and how they interact, can elevate your sewing skills, allowing you to tackle any fabric or design with confidence. So whether you're a seasoned tailor or a sewing enthusiast, getting to know the inner workings of your machine is a journey worth embarking on. Ready to unravel the genius of the sewing machine? Buckle up as we dive into the mechanism of this fascinating device. At the heart of a sewing machine lies an efficient and powerful motor. The motor plays a pivotal role in the functioning of a sewing machine. It is the heartbeat that sets the whole system in motion. Imagine the motor as the engine of a car, powering the wheels and enabling it to move. In a sewing machine, the motor's job is to rotate the wheel that drives the needle up and down. The motor's power determines the machine's speed, strength, and overall performance. There are different types of motors used in sewing machines, each with its unique characteristics and functionalities. For instance, Domestic sewing machines often use a smaller, less powerful motor designed for intermittent use. These motors are perfect for hobbyists who sew occasionally. On the other hand, industrial sewing machines, designed for continuous heavy-duty use, have larger, more powerful motors. These motors have the strength to pierce through multiple layers of fabric, sew heavy materials like leather and denim, and run for hours without overheating. There's also the servo motor, commonly used in modern computerized sewing machines. Servo motors are known for their precision and control. They can adjust the speed of the machine, making it easier to sew intricate designs and delicate fabrics. Lastly, we have the direct drive motor. This type of motor is built directly into the machine, reducing vibration and noise. Direct drive motors are energy efficient and provide a smoother sewing experience. However, regardless of the type, the motor's primary function remains the same to convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. This energy powers the machine, rotates the wheel and drives the needle, which in turn creates the stitches that we see on the fabric. In essence, the motor is the heart that pumps life into the sewing machine, setting everything into motion. It's the force that drives the machine, enabling it to sew, embroider and create beautiful pieces of art. The motor, the heart of the machine, sets everything in motion. But how does this motion translate into stitches? Let's find out. The needle and the bobbin, two simple components, create the beautiful art of stitches. Let us delve deeper into the roles these two elements play in the fascinating world of sewing. First, we have the needle. It's not just a pointed piece of metal. It's the carrier of the thread, the piercer of the fabric. As it plunges down into the fabric, it carries with it the upper thread. This thread then interlocks with the lower thread from the bobbin, creating a stitch. The needle's roll doesn't end here. It also ensures the precision of the stitch, making sure every thread is in its rightful place. Now let's move on to the bobbin. The bobbin is tucked away in a compartment beneath the needle, often out of sight but never out of action. It holds the lower thread, patiently waiting for the needle to dive down and catch it. And when that happens, magic ensues. The bobbin thread intertwines with the needle thread, forming a lock stitch, the most common type of stitch used in sewing. The bobbin's role is subtle, yet without it, there would be no stitches, no seams, no beautiful patterns. It's the silent hero of every sewing project. So, how do these two parts work together? As the needle descends, it carries the upper thread down into the fabric. At the same time, the bobbin spins, releasing the lower thread. The two threads then interlock, forming a stitch. As the needle rises, it pulls the threads tight, securing the stitch in place. This process repeats with every push of the pedal, creating a continuous line of stitches. It's a dance of precision and timing, a symphony of movement that results in the creation of something truly beautiful. The needle and the bobbin, working in perfect harmony, create the magic of sewing. But what guides them? Stay with us as we continue to unravel the genius of the sewing machine in our next segment. The unsung hero of a sewing machine, the feed dog, guides the fabric with precision. This little yet integral part of your sewing machine might not get the limelight it deserves, 
but its role is absolutely pivotal. Let's delve a little deeper into the world of the feed dog. Picture yourself sewing a beautiful pattern, your fabric gliding effortlessly under the needle. Now who do you think is responsible for that smooth movement of the fabric? Yes, you guessed it right, it's our unsung hero, the feed dog. This toothed metal bar, located beneath the needle and presser foot, moves back and forth in a motion that's synchronized flawlessly with the other parts of the machine. As the needle moves up after making a stitch, the feed dog rises and grips the fabric, nudging it forward by a set distance. Then, as the needle plunges down into the fabric again, the feed dog drops, releasing the fabric. This cycle repeats, giving us the continuous even movement of fabric we need for seamless sewing. The feed dog's diligent work is not just about advancing the fabric, it's also about precision and consistency. Without the feed dog, we'd be left with uneven stitches and a piece of fabric that's pulled and stretched out of shape. But with the feed dog, every stitch is accurate, every seam is straight, and every pattern is just as you envisioned it. So next time you're creating your masterpiece, spare a thought for the hardworking feed dog. This tiny component quietly ensures that your fabric moves at just the right pace, making your sewing experience smooth and hassle-free. The feed dog, a guiding force, ensures perfection in every stitch. But who regulates the stitch length and tension? The tension discs and the stitch regulator, the regulators of the machine, ensure flawless stitches. The tension discs and stitch regulator, two integral components of a sewing machine, work in perfect harmony to produce those immaculate stitches we all admire. Let's dive a little deeper into how they play their roles. Firstly, the tension discs. As the name suggests, these are discs that apply tension to the thread as it passes through the machine. But why is tension so important? Well, it's all about balance. The top thread and the bobbin thread need to interlock with just the right amount of tension to form neat, even stitches. Too much tension and the thread may break or the stitches become too tight. Too little. And you've got loose, messy stitches. The tension discs provide that critical control, allowing you to adjust the tension to suit different types of fabric and thread. Now let's turn our attention to the stitch regulator. This clever little device is all about controlling the length of your stitches. You see, different projects call for different stitch lengths. A tight, dense stitch might be perfect for a sturdy denim jacket, while a delicate chiffon scarf might require a longer, looser stitch. That's where the stitch regulator comes into play. By adjusting the stitch regulator, you can control exactly how far the feed dogs move the fabric with each stitch, effectively determining the length of your stitches. It's all about precision and control. The tension discs and stitch regulator allow you to tailor your sewing to the specific needs of each project, giving you the flexibility to create a wide range of beautiful high-quality stitches. The tension discs and the stitch regulator, the ultimate regulators, ensure that every stitch is just perfect. Together, all these parts create the unraveled genius that is the sewing machine. So, we've decoded the complex mechanism of a sewing machine. Let's take a moment to appreciate the intricate dance of precision that brings our fabric fantasies to life. We've journeyed from the heart of the machine, the motor, that powers every stitch, to the needle and bobbin duo, the unsung heroes of the sewing world, creating loops and lines with every plunge. We've discovered the magic of the feed dog, guiding our fabric with unwavering consistency. We've marveled at the tension discs and the stitch regulator, the guardians of balance, ensuring every stitch is just as perfect as the one before. Understanding these mechanisms is more than a fascinating exploration into the world of sewing. It's the key to unlocking the full potential of your machine, to troubleshooting with confidence, to creating with ease. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the unraveled genius of a sewing machine. Happy sewing! Now that we've unraveled the genius of a sewing machine, it's time to put our newfound knowledge into action. Let's sew a t-shirt, a simple yet versatile wardrobe staple. We're going to demonstrate two methods today. First up, the traditional sewing machine method. Using a straight stitch, we begin at the shoulder seams, moving down to the side seams. Pay attention to the rhythm of the feed dog, guiding our fabric smoothly under the needle. Now for the hems, we switch to a zigzag stitch. Notice how the tension discs and stitch regulator work in harmony, ensuring a firm even stitch that stretches with the fabric. Now let's step it up a notch. For those seeking a more professional finish, we introduce the serger or overlock machine. This specialized machine trims the seam and encloses the seam allowance within the thread, creating a clean and durable finish. And voila! 
that's how you sew a t-shirt using a sewing machine. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, understanding the mechanics of your machine can elevate your sewing projects to new heights. So grab your fabric, thread your needle, and let's get sewing. Happy sewing!